Hi my friends, let's model the part number 40, tool holder, from my collection of uh, 100 parts. This is the picture of uh, this two tool holder and uh, the drawing is uh, interesting before because of these two dimensions the rest is not complicated i suppose this is a morse cone uh, and we discussed about it in uh, one of my previous tutorials the tutorial is uh, number six morse five shaft take a look at it but uh, now we use this dimensions to uh, create the part let's go as you can see this is symmetrical and i'll use the same procedure like in the previous tutorial by uh, starting with this vertical uh, center line of 31 and then we draw a half a part and then uh, we mirror it 31 yes line center line 31 escape now the contour this is the contour and we have to take care with this small uh, clearance not center line and then lines that clearance will be created after after this uh, contour Now I make coincident this line with this point and then the other dimensions 90, 38, 10, 15, 31 and 40. This is uh, 10. This is 15, and this is 45 degrees, and uh, now I draw this clearance, the contour of the clearance, and then mirror, and after this I'll place uh, dimensions on the horizontal. This is to be equal and also equal and one corner to be aligned with the line horizontal or vertical I choose vertical and now the only dimension which is 3 then trim keeping pressed the left button I go so yes no dimensions is uh, lost good now mirror all these entities about uh, this axis apply all are symmetrical now and now horizontal dimensions 38 90 and 40 
fully constrained finish sketch home extrude you see this is why I don't use center line because now I have to select both halves good what is the extrusion 80 good and symmetrical of course 80 symmetrical okay now we concentrate on this hollow with these dimensions I prefer to create this contour in the air which means here line line short line slope line close yes this is uh, the center line and now dimensions firstly I make coincident this point this is selectable with this line and the other end with this line good 2386 is the diameter of this end 74 is the length of conical uh, part and 1 degrees 26 uh, minutes and 16 seconds sexagesimal measurement is the angle you remember eh? yes good 74 is this the diameter of this point is 23.86 the the angle is to be written as uh, sexagesimal it is not difficult look here one d e and now g one degrees good uh, 26 apostrophe okay and then 16 seconds quote you remember one degrees 26 apostrophe one deg deg 26 apostrophe and 16 uh, quote good and now there is a dimension here of the center 5 from this 10 10 plus 5 so dimension from the center point not as a linear diameter is 10 plus plus 5 okay finish sketch revolve cut okay yes. this is the uh, hollow interior destined for a morse cone now let's place this for holes counter bore the dimensions are here 18 uh, 11 10 and the 
position 60 and 38. Remember, 60 is on this direction. Okay? Good. I create a sketch on this plane with only one point F7 to see inside and we see a part of that conical interior and uh, this is the cylindrical interior and we place dimensions this is 38 divided by 2 and this is 60 divided by 2 we don't invent dimensions we place expressions when needed finish and now a hole counterbore yes counterbore so not simple but counterbore and now uh, I want to teach you a procedure a very simple procedure and efficient 8 is this you see, is, this is selected. This, this are not selected. And also, this is selected. Now, I uh, write without clicking anywhere on the screen because I see this is selected. Focus is here. And I write our dimension, which is uh, 11. 11, and now. I tap the key tab tab this is for this selection and I apply tab again I am I agree this then the diameter from the counter bar which is 18 tab and now we selected this uh, depth of the counter bar which is 10 okay I, I press repeatedly tab and you will see we go circular to the same uh, value tab 11 tab all tab 18 tab 10 from now on, when we have a counterbore, we'll use this procedure. Okay? Okay. The counterbore is this. Now I apply a, a, a rectangular pattern. I select the counterbore. I select the first direction. This is, but in the other direction. This is the second one, also opposite. And now you see 4. 2 multiplied by 2 uh, holes. Our dimensions are, our dimensions are uh, 60 on first direction yes 60 and 38 on the other the second direction 38 okay the last uh, features are um, these chamfers 2 45 one forty-five at uh, symmetrical position. Okay, this is two, which is by default, and the other plus is this, but one, not two. Okay, this is the part 
my friends material steel carbon or because this is a tool uh, alloy steel alloy with uh, some faces polished not semi polished but to have this uh, in respect of the picture I'll change something this is to be polished still polished and the general aspect would be uh, cast you see uh, my first picture was with uh, uh, such kind of oh I forgot this one two three four to be also polished data I properties physical update almost one kilogram 800 and half degrees that's all for the moment bye bye